Hello friends. Today's project is ADAS system and anti collision system using lidar for EVs and autonomous vehicles part 1. This project helps you to design an anti collision system for your vehicle. Later on, we will also design the ADAS system. In this project, we are using a lidar to scan the surroundings and you can set a buzzer alarm if any obstacles is nearby or also automate the system by applying the brakes automatically whenever there is a chance of any collision. Here, we have corrected a prototype of an anti-collision system in this video. It uses a Raspberry Pi to run the application and a lidar to scan the environment. In place of Raspberry Pi 4, you can use any other board like Nvidia. We are using YD Lidar X2. You can use any lidar to develop this project. This lidar has a motor, one controller that gives us the output and it has a set of laser, transmitter and receiver. Mounting of lidar on your vehicle properly is very important. To do so, open the data sheet of your lidar and check this diagram. Every lidar has this zero direction. This is zero direction of our lidar. So, we will mount it like this to get a complete front view. We also have to stabilize the vibration of the vehicle so that lidar can scan properly. Next, you need to check the range of the lidar while selecting it for this project. You can find all this information in the data sheet of lidar. Another thing to check is the FDA reading. Lidar uses lidar waves, so you have to check the government policy and FDA reading of lidar. This is class 1. and i can use this in public next important parameter to check while finding a suitable lidar is range or field of view as told earlier our lidar can scan 0 to 360 degrees one more thing to check is the baud rate of the lidar if your lidar works on a usb serial port then baud rate is very important parameter to take into consideration in the data sheet you will also get the information about the software and sdk to work with lidar Now let us check our lidar is working. I have connected lidar to my laptop. I have already downloaded the software and SDK required to work with this lidar. Select your com port to which you have connected your lidar and select the version from the drop down. Now you can see lidar data points and angles on screen. Here you can see this lidar is moving and scanning my room environment. I have lifted it up and obstacles have reduced as visible on the screen. You can also see the distance from the obstacles here. Now, we will connect this lidar to a Raspberry Pi board. You can connect your lidar to the development board you are using. I have remote access to my Raspberry Pi via VNC viewer. First, you have to download the SDK as per your lidar on your board. I will download the Python SDK for YD lidar X2. You can also see this information regarding SDK and how to download it from data sheet. I have already downloaded the Python SDK. and installed it on my raspberry pi here is the sample code for connecting the lidar and extracting the data we will make some changes in this code first of all give your port number here to which lidar is connected to get the port's information of raspberry pi type lsusb command on the terminal it will give you all the connected ports on the raspberry pi board this function prints the angle and distance on the output terminal now i have run this code and you can see the angle and distance on the output terminal now to design an anti collision system for my vehicle i have to set a condition for example i do not want any obstacle to come in the range of 220 to 300 meters in front of my car if some comes in that range i want either we get an alert or there is some automatic braking system that will stop my car automatically for this we have to check the angle hence we have applied an if condition inside this function here in this prototype we are printing these statements on the output terminal as an alert you can use other gpios of raspberry pi board to connect a buzzer now i have run this code and you can see a warning is printing along with angle and distance when i bring my hand closer to the lidar If you also want to see the graph then you have to use the matplot library first install numpy and matplot libraries and then import them in your code matplot is used for plotting the graph and numpy library is for numerical calculation next we have to define angles in which we want to plot lidar data points this function will plot the graph and we can see a graph like this on running this code this is just one part we will see how to connect the system when the hub motor of ev and how to make an adas system in the next session this is all about this project we hope you liked it do implement this project at home and let us know your experience thank you